with me. Hey you guys, it's Autumn from the Burton Family. And today, I in the next few days, in the last few days, I've been trying to just kind of wrap up some planning, um, kind of try to dot some I's and cross some T's so we are kind of to get things to kind of go a little smoothly from, I am planning currently April through December, um, loosely, um, but yeah. And so I thought I would try to kind of like show you guys today kind of what I've been doing and what some of that looks like. So you can see here, I've got some stuff laid out. I've got a binder. I'm trying to like consolidate. I'm a note person. So I will easily have like multiple notebooks going at the same time. And I'm trying to like consolidate those all in one place. So for now, I've got like home management stuff in this binder and also homeschool stuff. So let me turn the camera around and I will just show you guys what I got going on. So let's start right here. So I started out kind of making our homeschool schedule. Now I'm really actually planning April through December, um, but I did go ahead and put January and March on here just to kind of see what we had what we had done. That doesn't sound grammatically correct, but you get it. So these are kind. This is kind of our our schedule from April through December, and the green checks are days that we intend to have school, and the red X's are days that we don't we have been doing a three weeks on one week off schedule this last year starting in june 2017 or something like that um but we are going to gradually move into a longer schedule where it is like six weeks on one week off i think something like that year round so we're on a year round schedule so that's kind of what that looks like at this point and then I've got this like kind of a sample sheet of what I would like our day to look like. Now these are printed off from homeschoolplanner.com. Uh, not a sponsor, but I wouldn't hate it. Um, and so let me go to April and kind of show you what I've been using to plan all this stuff. And so that's kind of like what that looks like. So I've got breakfast and reminding me like, okay, ask the kids to make sure they make their beds and our, what our morning basket is going to be that week. So these are... This is a day right here. I have it in month mode. I can change it to week mode or day mode or whatever. And then outside time and just, I put in like remembering to take breaks and stuff like that. Cause I forget. I'm like, oh, let's get all of our school done. And then they need a break. So like a lot of our curriculum kind of all kind of plugged in here as a general guide. And then if we miss a day, then it'll ask me if I want to push it forward to the next day or replace it or delete it or whatever, which is really nice. So you can kind of Basically, I can go over here to math. We're using math lessons for a living education level one for both kindergarten and first grade this year. Um, and so I can go over here to see how many lessons there are. And I believe this has 36 lessons. Yes, 36 lessons. And then I can go in here and I can click add a class. So I can add Jovi and Gabby to the class and put... Um, 36 lessons and then it will divide the 36 lessons by the weeks or days or however I want to do it. So that's kind of like the basics of how I'm planning and these are just kind of sample sheets that I printed off from there just in case I decide not to keep homeschool plan it because you do have to pay for it. Um, I'll at least have these little sample sheets um, and then there's just some random homeschool planning papers, curriculum stuff. This stuff is from Confessions of a Homeschooler. These are her printables I got from her place her website and then there's these unit study planning forms which i have some of those pulled out and we are not doing a lot in the way of unit study right now but i am planning towards the end of the summer to hopefully do one on weather and then also in january i would like to do one on the human body and so i've been just like as i find books that i think are really interesting about the human body i just write them down here on the back but she has a little section right here, but I just want lots and lots of full color books. So I'm just kind of writing that down back there as I find resources. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, look up Discovery Kids books and activity books. Theirs, is called, theirs are called Factivity. And then also Usborne has a lot of books. So let me show you kind of what their binders look like. I think I have a video dedicated to the binders. Um, and I need to change this to say kindergarten, but this was what Gabby was doing this last kind of school year. And so they had this little pouch because they were earning erasers, which they've, they've disappeared. Uh, this was how they were charting 100 days of school. Gabby's is not as full as Jovi's because, well, she some days did school with us and some days she didn't. 
other writing their name stuff. This is the sticker chart for their reading. And then I started putting their chore for the day. So I have the chores divided up into zones. And so I decided every day everybody has a different zone they're supposed to do. And so I just put it, taped it on their little um, pocket that their work goes in for the day. So it's kind of like a reminder that, hey, you have a chore to do this afternoon, and it goes in there. And so these little pockets right here, it's Monday through Friday, even though we usually only do four days a week of school, um, I can slide whatever worksheets or activity cards or whatever they have to do, I just slide it in there, and they do it, and when they've finished it, they put it in the back pocket, and that is how that works. I have that for the two big girls, but little sister wants one too, so we're working on one for her. So let's walk over here and I'll show you kind of what I got going on here. So this is Math Lessons for a Living Education. So like I said, I just went through, found out how many lessons there were and divided it by the number of weeks that I was planning for. So we should finish this uh, November, December. I'm not really sure. It's April or it's about to be April when we start. We're going to start April 2nd, start up again. We've been on a two week break. So yeah, so we should finish this hopefully in by December and then we can move on either to level two if Gabby's ready to go to level two, if not, she might go on to do something else that's more age appropriate for her. Once again, they are both doing level one of All About Reading. Jo they both did the pre-reading level together. And from what I can tell, this is kind of both kindergarten, early first grade. So currently they're doing this, but I would really like to switch over to The Good and the Beautiful. So once again, I just went to the table of context. Is that what it is? Yes. And I looked up how many, can you hear the kids? I looked up how many lessons there were, 53 lessons, minus the ones we had already done. So we've already done, Joby's already done 10 and Gabby's already done four. And then input that in here. So I, in, I input the number of lessons in here and I can customize it to each kid. So Joby's says lesson 10, Gabby says lesson four, and then I can put it like customize it within the activities that they have that day and and such and so on. So let's go on to handwriting. So I think I'm going to do like a whole separate video on the whole handwriting and all the really all the curriculum we're going to be doing this year. But um, so big girls are going to be doing the kindergarten book, but then Jovi probably in uh, January will either move on to grade one book or she'll go to a reason for handwriting a, I think she really wants a reason to write. She wants to write people letters. So I am planning that. And this one was a little harder to input because it's not really laid out by numbered lessons because this is a very tactile program. So because it's really designed for teachers and not really for homeschool, but that's this is what we're using. So I had to go through and really count how many lessons and just physically put the lessons in kind of one at a time. Um, but that was fine, except if I mess it up and then I did all that work for no reason. Um, and then this one is the preschool one that Elise, Elise is going to be three in like a month and a half. And she's really ready to do preschool stuff. She's kind of been hanging out with us doing school. And so she's ready to do something. And so this is her book, which is very, very similar to her sister's book. I'll do a whole video on this, but she's going to be doing this alongside them. And yeah, so I just went through and for handwriting, I don't know if you can see right there um they have e for eagle but she has e for elephant so i just have that put in there and then we can check it off as we do it so that's that over here is our five in a row basket and this is just a list of stuff that i need to add to the basket um but this week have since we haven't been doing school i've been spending a lot of time just kind of reading books on manners which i love the library but five in a row, that's what we're going to be doing kind of around breakfast time. We just read a book, the same book every day, and then we do an activity related to that book that's maybe language arts related, geography, hence the 50 states books. Um, I ordered some geography books for this. They have, they are not here yet, but yeah, arts and crafts, whatever related to that story. So I think our first week of school, we're going to be doing Madeline and the second week of school, I believe we're going to be doing the story about ping. So once again, I kind of have like a sample of what our days I would like them to ideally look like. It's just in like a little clear thing. I don't laminate stuff. I don't have a laminator, but, um, yeah, it's just kind of a sample of what I would like our days to look like. So this is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Um, yeah, and then on this side, I've got another chore chart that I need to fill out, and I have the exact same one over by my coffee pot because that's one of the first things I see in the morning, just kind of paste it in there. And so I'm gonna fill this one out so I will see it in multiple places because I am that person. I need many reminders, physical paper reminders and like my phone like dings 100 times a day because I need reminders. This is just a book that we got from the library. It's an Usborne book that I was thinking about buying but I wanted to check it out first. So it's super cute and yeah. So that's kind of all that's in here right now but there will be Madeline stuff in here in a, in a few days and then right here this is just like a little planner that someone gave me and so what how i'm using it is for library book lists so i just kind of write no no particular day but the week books that i might want to get from the library library uh that week so i just kind of as i think of them i write them down or if i come across something in the curriculum that would maybe correlate like these are fish uh, there's something about fish in the handwriting without tears book an elephant and eagles and we're also doing Madeline five in a row so I can get on the library website and reserve or hold or order those books and then go in in a few days and pick them up and we will be ready to go and we'll have some kind of themes going on in our work woohoo that makes me super excited also I have a cup of sleepy time sinus tea because uh, I need to calm the heck down. So that's what that's about. So like right here, I've got all of our handwriting without tears, or most of it, the workbook's over there, in here because handwriting without tears is very, very tactile, which I love. So, or kinesthetic or whatever. So touch and feel kind of learning. So I've got tons and tons of things here. And believe it or not, yes, handwriting was the most expensive thing that I ordered this year. So I've got, this one is mine. And then we've got these little slate boards in here and just all the things, all the things in here in one place. And I will, I will do a separate video all about handwriting without tears and some of the other curriculums. If you have any questions about what we're using, please put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them when I do the video about each of the curriculums and kind of if I break it down a little bit into smaller chunks, because um, otherwise the video would be like, an hour of me just like talking. So this is the actual physical planner, you know, like the old fashioned kind you write in. And I do not plan like our year in advance or whatever on paper. I actually do that on my phone and all of our work stuff is in here and stuff I need to remember long term is in the calendar on my phone. However, like day to day stuff, just like a list, like to do list things of things I need to get done that day. I do like to put it on here um just as i'm thinking of it i really like this this is a week at a glance calendar so here's the first part of the week and the second i was doing post-it notes but that was getting messy and expensive so i don't really do that anymore but that's hence the post-it note here so yeah i just kind of use this as a to-do list throughout the day leave it on the counter and as i think of something i'm like okay i'll write that down and if i get too many things on like let's say tuesday i got too many things going on I'm like oh no that's too much and i'll start erasing and moving it throughout the week but um, yeah, this is just more, I guess a calendar really is a to-do list, but whatever. This is how I use it. I use it as more of a daily to-do list. I realize I'm talking super fast. So here is another thing that I need to organize. This is our crate system. The best video that I can tell you to look at on how to do this. I have a video about the crate system for organizing papers and stuff throughout the year. Um, I have a video on this. Um, Megan Phillips, I think is her name, has a video on this, and Christy Clover, which is the original place that I got this idea. And basically, I organize any papers that we can rip out. I just rip the whole book apart and organize it by week, and then I take out the papers and divide them into the binder that I showed you earlier by, you know, Monday, Wednesday, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so, yeah, and then after they finish the papers, I also will go back and put them back in here so that all of our papers are consolidated into one place and not like a paper here and a paper there. So I need to, this week, go through and clean this out and kind of like bind and store away some of the school stuff. I am not keeping everything. I'm sorry, guys, I just can't keep everything. It's too much stuff. Um, so I'll go through the crate and kind of pick and choose like what we want to keep, what we don't want to keep, um, what do we need for records, what do we not, and then the rest of it will just go in the trash. 
So was that a lot? <laughs> was that a hot mess or organized? I don't know, but that's kind of where I am right now. Um, I also would like to have like a sticker drawer for like, oh, you did your work with a good attitude, go get a sticker from the sticker drawer. Um, and then I would also like to do some incentives. So I did like eraser, like fun eraser incentives last year, but that was kind of expensive trying to keep up with those and I can't buy them locally. I have to like order them. Um, but I think I'm gonna do necklaces this year. So I'm just gonna get some like cheap necklaces and some uh, beads and if they get like, I don't know, 10 stickers in a week, then they can go get a bead to put on their necklace from the bead drawer or whatever. And they'll be like really pretty beads. Um, and I think that they'll be really excited to do that. I don't know, we'll see. They might just wanna have fancy erasers. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But that is where my brain is at right now. And uh, yeah, I look be on the lookout for more in-depth videos about the curriculum we have today and how we are combining the uh, Handwriting Without Tears preschool and kindergarten level and kind of what that looks like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. If you like what you see, subscribe, it's free. Make sure you never miss another video.